Greetings and welcome to 2021. Here to give you a recap on our January 12th Sturgeon County Council meeting. Uh, the full recap is uh, below, but I wanted just to focus on a few highlights. Uh, first off, Council heard a presentation on the what we heard through the resource extraction regulatory review from last year. This is a great opportunity for me to be able to thank you on behalf of Council for the time and commitment that you had to taking part in this engagement. It is very important to us and we value your opinion greatly. And while the views received uh, were different, obviously, uh, it's clear that as a county, we need to strike the balance between jobs, economic growth, the environment, and quality of life for our residents. The, the reports are available in the agenda online and a full recap will also be available on our website. Uh, Council will hear the recommended policy options on potential changes to the bylaw on our upcoming January 26th Council meeting. And uh, that's where you'll have an opportunity to hear some more information on that. Also, uh, later on in Council, in the spirit of supporting the local economy, we directed administration to investigate options for online platforms to promote local Sturgeon County products, businesses, and services. The platform will include a business directory that will be designed to focus on helping small and medium-sized businesses that are struggling to adapt to uh, online sales. The idea stems from recommendations coming out of our COVID-19 recovery task force, as well as of our economic development board. This is an important way to help support our local entrepreneurs and businesses who've been hit so very hard over this past year. And speaking of COVID-19, as of Tuesday the 12th, there were 42 active cases in Sturgeon County. This is down significantly from the middle of December where we had over 100 cases. So thank you very much for your continuation of working together, following the guidelines and the restrictions. I do believe that if we continue working on this together, we will bring the numbers down further. And I know that this was a very strange holiday season for all of us. And I'm also proud to say that as a council, we all remained within the region, uh, firmly committed to bending the curve and practicing what we're preaching and asking of you. This isn't easy for any of us, and I would like to take a moment especially to thank our healthcare providers and our frontline workers who are tire tirelessly there to protect us, serve us, and we are incredibly grateful for the vital role that you play. From a county perspective, we are doing all that we can to keep our residents safe while providing the very best services possible. We are also working hard to create safe recreation opportunities in our community as we all know that an active lifestyle has a positive effect on our mental health. It reduces the risks of depression. It helps us live longer and certainly increases the enjoyment and quality of our life. And we are fortunate to have this vast natural beauty on our doorstep. And so whether it's outdoor skating in the winter or taking advantage of the various trails that we keep uh, plowed throughout the year, these are all options for people of all ages and all activity levels. And especially I'd like to let you know about the Sturgeon County Skating Trail that is opened in Cardiff Park. We've had such positive feedback from last year's winter light stroll that we were wanting to be able to offer uh, more activities outdoor in that beautiful area. So I encourage all of you to pack up some uh, hot chocolate and check out the trail. The gates open at 8 a.m. and close at 10 p.m. And so for more ideas as well on winter activities, if uh, skating isn't your jam, you can go to sturgeoncounty.ca slash get outside. There's a great list of, uh, of other options there for trails to explore. And that's it for this week's update. Please wash your hands, please watch your distance, please wear a mask, and please take care of one another.